Hi, it's Susan McDonald with Susan Jane Jewels. Today I'm talking about how to get the Gucci look by using uh, vintage costume jewelry and also just costume jewelry. So Gucci is super hot right now and um, there are ways to imitate and get some inspiration from the Gucci collection and make it your own and um, really pull off that look pretty easily with some things you probably already have in your jewelry box. So I'm going to show you a few photos and show you how I come up with those looks. So my first photo um, is this look. Again, this is from the runway. You can see there are uh, about four necklaces on this model. It's all silver tone. So I'm gonna show you what I came up with to imitate that. Um, so I found this four strand necklace layering. I'm layering from the bottom up to the top. We don't like things to be perfect. I like things a little asymmetrical. You know, not that, not that there was a whole, you know, it's just too contrived when you try to get everything super, you know, perfect. And then I found this really great necklace on the chain. Uh, this pendant works very nicely with the whole look and vibe I'm going for. I got this necklace recently. It's like a big low and brow lion, low and brow beer lion. And this is perfection on here. So I know we're putting a lot of jewelry on, but that's the look that the Gucci, that the Gucci runway, um, that's what they showed. And then I have one more vintage 70s necklace with some spikes on it and that just fits right in. So I think that's a great look. Um, you could add one more choker if you wanted, but um, I think that's, you know, got some good inspiration coming right from the runway and uh, reinvented with what you might already have or what you can easily find out in a thrift store or at a flea market. Um, a similar look, this is going with gold. So again, similar look we just did. And this, this time I'm gonna start off with a choker. This is really cool. This is uh, vintage, I think it's 50s, but there's like these fleur-de-lis and these tassels. Really love that. So that fits right in there with our choker motif. And then I have a vintage Anne Klein chain. It's a little bit worn, but it goes really well with this. And then a nice open airy chain with some pearls, a little pearl texture like that. And then we could, if we wanted, we could even bring in this big uh, gold plate. Oops. We could bring in this gold plate too. So again, this would be the gold version of what's going on in this model on the runway, okay? Okay, next look. Um, I really love the way Gucci did the very feminine pearls with a chunky vintage necklace up on top. So uh, long pearl necklaces are really easy to find. I found one almost immediately in my box. And then there's a knot at the bottom, it's knotted, so you can easily do that. We throw in our knot. And then we're going to throw in a few more layers of pearls, just like the model. Okay, so we've got our pearls going. And then you could bring in, just try to bring something that's got a completely different left turn juxtaposition to what's happening with the femininity of the pearls, because I think that's what just works so well here, is that it just, you know, like this, this necklace with this crest works really well to imitate this look. It's not exact but it's the idea that you've got something um, chunky and vintagey looking. There's a little bit of red and with the gold tone. So that's one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is I found this really great necklace, again, with lots of fun vintage baubles. It's green and gold. And it might be a little bit long, but you could just cinch this up a little bit to get those to sit up a little bit higher. But again, you're getting that juxtaposition of the antique bobbly look back to the pearls. And I think was there, oh, there's one more that you, that I found that I could do. This is really bringing it up by the neckline. This is a one of a kind piece with lots of vintage and antique bits and baubles. And that's another way to just get that again it's all about the juxtaposition between the pearls and something chunky and vintage and old and antique looking okay um so that's that one and then the another look that uh, was very popular i think this has been all over the fashion magazines it's the pearls really up high at the neck and then a little bit graduated and then um, it's not shown in the photo here but there's one long strand of pearls where she's got the same colorful rhinestone motif it's actually the gucci logo in colored rhinestones 
Um, so since I don't have that, I had to do the next best thing. So what we can do here is expand that. And then I found this um, uh, wire wrap pearl necklace. It's a little too long, so I just cinched it down. That tail can hang down the back of your neck, down your shirt. No one needs to know. Uh, let me cinch it up a little bit more here because I really want it right at the neckline. So just like that. And then what you can do is find some things that are compatible. So I found this flower and this gray swirly leafy thingy. So I would put the flower right up here, okay, like that. And then I would bring this one. And this is just a brooch. You just open up the, the sword of the brooch, if you will, or the, the pin backing. Oops. And just secure that. And uh, that way you get a similar look. You've got a rhinestone thing up here, or rhinestone embellishment focal point up here, and then one down here. So really very, very Gucci. And you could do that a few different ways. I'm going to show you a couple other combos that I really liked. So that was the rhinestone pieces. Um, the other pieces I thought were really compatible together, uh, a vintage Maltese cross with pearls, this is Joan Rivers, and this cool dragon. So I think I'm going to like... Let's see, I think I'd like the dragon up on top. You could do whatever, you know, suits you. But the dragon, he looks really cool right up there. And then I'm going to drop my Maltese cross right down here. You just open the, the, uh, the sword of the brooch on. Find a, find a comfortable place that it's going to fit between the pearls. Oops. Make sure that's nice and secure. And then, again, that's the total Gucci look. The idea that you've got a big, chunky focal point up here and one down here. Um, the other thing that's really hot right now and very signature Gucci is um, bugs, little bugs. So um, I have uh, two really cute little vintage bug brooches, one large, one small. Again, these are easy to find at the flea market thrift stores. And you could do the same thing. You could do a, a, a bug up here, bug down here. Actually, I do the small bug up here and the big one down here. Or just do them right off to the side right next to each other. They'd be so, so fabulous. Um, so uh, that is one way to do it. I found this other pair of great vintage bugs that I had in my stash, gold with rhinestones with these uh, pearl, pearl backs. So you can do the same thing just off to the side. Very, very Gucci, 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 goo. So um, that's that look. And then my final look is this. They showed this uh, orange and turquoise necklace again and again and again on that runway collection. So I found this one. This is vintage. Well, not really vintage, but it's Stella and Dot. Um, it's a multi-strand. I was just going for the color on this. And again, I like things to look a little bit messy. And then I have this blue. This is aquamarine, I believe. So throwing that in. Again, I'm just trying to imitate the look. And then I have this turquoise necklace that I would throw in right around the top. And that way you're kind of getting that similar Gucci look. It's the colors, it's the multiple strands, and it's, you know, chunky and generous. So um, those are my Gucci looks. And then one more thing I want to share with you today, just because it's um, a great piece. I found it recently at an estate sale. found this fabulous, uh, it's uh, signed Worth. I think he had a boutique in Palm Beach or something. So fabulous leopard scarf on red. I'm seeing this in stores right now. And it's just a really very popular motif of leopards on red. I thought, what a fabulous score. So you never know what you're going to find in, in a, in a, at an estate sale or at a flea market, at a thrift store. But this is so incredibly in right now. Um, and, of course, so many different ways to wear a scarf. Um, you know, wear it as the bib, wear it as the Boy Scout, roll it and wear it as a belt. Could be a little... Uh, uh, beach sarong, whatever you want to do, but um, lots of look for the money on this. I think I paid $12. So always keep your eyes open and um, good luck uh, with your interpretation and imitating the Gucci look. I hope uh, things work out for you. So I hope you found some inspiration in this. You can always visit my website, susanjanejewels.com or my Etsy store, also Susan Jane Jewels on Etsy. So leave any comments. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, and thanks for watching.